Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculpture cloth dolls you see sitting behind me. I create these dolls and as I was sewing these dolls, child, they would not stop talking to me and this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series and so far I have books one, two, and three of the Jungle Beauty Goddess series which led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck that I created with herbs and oils and all type of good stuff where I do readings on this channel. I talk about gemstones and crystals and feng shui, chakras, metaphysical knowledge, wisdom, spirituality. If you enjoy topics of this nature, welcome home darling. This is where we embrace the weird and the wonderful. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darlings. I am just going to jump right into this video child because my, my intro is long enough so we're going to get this party started. So I love to watch Atlanta Housewives. It's one of my favorite shows. It's just a way for me to relax. And I've been trying my best not to make this video. I've been fighting myself about my nature and who am I. And what, you know, giving unsolicited advice. Is that a good idea? My son always say to me, Ma, you know, I don't believe in this. And then it happens. And he said, well, what about my will? What about what I want? Because usually what I predict, it just, you know, I may not get it 100%, but there's, I'm, on, I'm in the ballpark. And the best way for me to say this is that, you know, I've said in previous videos, I practice feng shui and everyone practice feng shui, whether you are conscientious about what's in your environment and how you it is an expression of where you are in your life. I mean, you're still practicing it. So with Cynthia Bailey, I think a couple years ago when she was house hunting and she found the house with the water in the back. I thought, no, Cynthia, please don't buy this house because you have water in the back. And water in the back of a home usually means that the male is going to be unfaithful. But to put it into context, there's, there's a lot that surrounds this concept. Well, a man who has several wives is considered to be a man who is wealthy, okay? So water in the back of the home usually is a good thing if you want to be wealthy and you're a man as you know but if you are a woman and you want a man who is loyal and faithful to you water in the back of your home is probably not a good idea so the thing the reason it's a quandrum is because if you want a man who is wealthy then yeah like if you Think about it in feng shui terms. Let's say if you want somebody who is very wealthy, has a lot of money and a lot of prestige, a lot of women are going to be attracted to him. He's going to be attracted to a lot of women, but that's a part of the masculine energy. That's a part of that um, that male energy, that macho energy, that no matter what we say, that comes along with that particular earth suit. So anyway, um, Cynthia, you know, her home is gorgeous. She calls the lake behind her home, Lake Bailey. And I thought, oh, you know, maybe she's not going to date after Peter because I know there were some issues with them, with um, Peter flirting with other women. And um, and I knew she was carrying the energy of a very, uh, of a woman who is attracting men who tend not to be faithful. Now, before I knew anything about this Mike guy that she's dating, I just thought when I, you know, whoever she attracts in this house with the water in the back is probably going to be somebody who's unfaithful. So I was just binge watching my Atlanta Housewives, and I, and I, he has a book. I think it's called Open Mike or something, and he's talking about all of his infidelities and how he cheated on all his wives and girlfriends and how he never loved any of them. And I thought, oh my God, feng shui never lies. You hear me, guys? Feng shui never lies. It, it doesn't, it doesn't, oh, how do I, 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 and the thing is, 
I feel like, Cynthia, if you ever are up late and you are surfing the internet and somehow you find this video, my unsolicited advice to you is to move from the home with the water in the back or remain in your home and understand that the mates that you attract, especially, they're probably going to be unfaithful. And, and that's just, and my, and my son said, what about my will? What about what I want? Well, the sun does not rise in the north, right? And set in the south. There is order in the universe. We, it's kind of like you jump into, you know, there, there are various earth suits. The earth suits for a giraffe is not the same, doesn't have the same um, equipment, criteria as the earth suit for a whale. And I think sometimes people just feel like we are multidimensional beings and we are very powerful and we can co-create with the universe. Look, I believe in that, but that co-creation has to be in alignment with divine will. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but all I'm saying is there are, this earth has various, um, how do I say this, psychological matrix. We have geological matrix, we have physiological matrix, we, we, you know, earth suits and patterns. And when we choose, um, it's like when, you, when we choose an earth suit, you know, it's like the, you know, our, our light team or our council and God, they say, like, if you pick this body at this time period, here are some of the things you're going to deal with. Well, it's the same thing with your environment. Feng Shui is just really how your home is laid out and how each area of your home impacts your life. I always say it is a 3D living, um, uh, what do people call it, those board, vision board. It's a vision board that whether you accept it or not, it is what it is. So I'm, I want to keep this video short. I just want to say that Cynthia Bailey from Atlanta Housewives, this is unsolicited advice to you. Unsolicited spiritual advice, and I hope I'm wrong. I want to be wrong. This, The book that he is writing is his soul warning you. He's telling you who he is and what he is about. And um, don't take it lightly. And don't, you know, if something happens, don't act like you are not pre-warned or that you didn't know or that it was a sucker punch because sometimes we pretend not to see the knife but the knife is like huge but he is telling you who he is um but you have to know who you are and what you want it's and and it's not your fault you know you haven't done anything wrong you are a, a gorgeous woman you have wealth what's there not to love i think even the fact that after he has proposed to you you know, and he's in this relationship with you. He publishes a book of this nature. Like, why? Why would he want people to know those things? To tarnish, you know, what you have. Like, I'm just, listen guys. I don't, this video is already too long for me. Ladies, if there is water in the back of your home, a large body of water, like swimming pools, watch this. You don't want those things in the back of your home because... It doesn't, it doesn't cause your man to cheat. I just want you to know that the element for love and feng shui is earth. And when you mix earth with water, you get mud. Okay. Now for the man, it is advantageous. He attracts, he, you know, he has more opportunities. He has more wealth. Like he just wrote a book. He has more fame because he's on the show. Um, but for Cynthia, it's not a good thing to have a man who is, it looks like he's taking advantage of her platform. So that's all I want to say about that for anybody that this video helps. If it's one person that watched this video and it helps them, then I've done my job. Thank you so much for watching.